All right. Good afternoon, or is this evening, everybody? I think it's evening. Um, been a busy day for me today. <laughs> we are traveling, and um, so uh, if you see a lot of bumps or hear something, um, I'm sorry. Uh, we're, I'm in a vehicle. But uh, today I'm going to be going over, to doing my training um, on my students today. Um, had a lot of issues with people not modifying their category page. They were unsure what a category page was. Um, that is still part of your system. It still needs to be modified. So that's what we're gonna go over today is exactly what a, um, let me get my screen. Share my screen. So, um, we see the Zoom screen, so. Yeah, I'm doing the, <laughs> trying to get the admit here. All right, so. Yeah, the tab, no, oh, there it is, yep. All right, so here's my screen that I'm gonna be working on. And, uh, come on, I don't know why it's showing that again. Okay, here we go, get down here. So um, let's explain what you're seeing here. So over here to the left side, you have your category menu, okay? And those are the actual menus that come with your program or with your website. You can add to it and take away as you see fit. Now, Google did do an update last year, middle of last year, where it requires 90 or less of these um, category and subcategories. So, uh, the one thing that I have issues with with some students that come in is they want to put every page that they make on the category. Um, that's why you have this lovely search tool over here. Everything does not need to be in the category. However, you do have the category menu. So this is the menu and then you have your page. Even though it's a category menu, it's still a page in your system. It's still created just like your other pages that you create and they do need to be modified. So I have my health and fitness um, page up. So here's my health and fitness category. I have four subcategories in there. Um, and this one has an additional one in, in there. So I have five subcategories in my health and fitness. But when I click on the actual category menu, it pulls up this page. And on this page is you're, you're gonna have an individual blob, blob, blurb, um, for each page that you create. Now you don't have to put every page that you have in your system on your category page, but you can if you want to. So um, on this one, I have all of my information or pages related to health or fitness. Um, I have my blue, pept uh, blue scorpion peptide. I have my carb burners. Um, I have my blue scorpion. I broke this down, the skincare products. I have my page for red wine that goes to my wine page that talks about how red uh, wine is healthy for you. I have my plant-based products. Um, even though we are not promoting the juice um, through Sephora anymore, it still works. The leak still works. So I'm leaving it in there. They might come back with it. And then I have my nootropics. And in here, um, it still has the same SEO uh, criteria that any other page has. You need to have your images, you need to have internal links, you need to have um, external links, you need to have you know, your focus key phrase, you need to have everything, your readability, everything needs to be the same. There's nothing different. So I always open up two pages of my site whenever I'm working on it. So I'm not toggling you know, through one site and coming back and trying to get through it again. I always work in two different pages um, of my site. So I have two different tabs and I'm just gonna put them side by side, just move them over um, so that I can see what I'm working on. So in my, one I'm gonna be using for reference point, I'm gonna have my actual site here open, like anybody that's coming and visiting can see it. So over here on my health and fitness category, I'm gonna put it into edit mode. So when I come into edit mode, you're gonna be able to see my page as it comes in in the edit mode. And as you can see, 
it does have the same criteria that you're going to have with any other page. If you come down to the bottom, you got to have your SEO, you're going to have your readability. So everything's going to be right here. Sorry about that. So one of the things I know I want um, to add to here is I've created several new pages that I need to add my information to. So I'm just going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to write another header. And you're like, well, how do you know what you want to write? So I'm going to come over here and I know that we have, um, I did some sleep, so I'm going to type in sleep. So when I go into search, it pulls up all of my pages that I have on sleep. And they just going to go one after the other, all the way down. And then it's going to go from one page to the next. So then I'm all I'm going to different information about that. So I'm going to come back here. My internet's going to be really slow, so I'm sorry uh, if I lose you. So you have your header. You're going to open up your block, create a header, and I'm going to do sleep. and your health. And then you're going to do your paragraph block. And you're going to basically summarize your pages that you have in there. It's just, it doesn't need to be long, just a paragraph, no more. Um, I think we lost her for a minute. There she is. Yeah, that's why I figured I saw my internet. We hit a bump. <laughs> so, so I'm using two different pages. Um, this is the page I'm going to be writing in, and this is the page I'm using for a search. So um, I have two sites up. I'm going to write on my sleep program because I have several sleep pages that are dedicated to sleep. So I'm adding that to my health category page. Um, so I'm just going to go in here, write a paragraph on sleep and health. Get enough sleep. Health, but also digestion, diet, sexual activity. May the signal police please give Sheila her signal back. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, okay, I'm writing. All right, so yeah, she, here's she my wasn't little, talking at the time. Yeah, I wasn't talking. <laughs> so here's my little blurb that I'm writing about sleep and health. I have my, my title right here, sleep and your health. I'm, I'm actually going to capitalize this right here. And then what I'm going to do is go back to my page and I'm going to grab this title. So I'm just going to click on the actual title. I'm going to come up here to my toolbar or my address bar. I'm going to get this link and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to highlight this and put in an internal link for my page. 
Now I open mine in a new tab. You don't have to, I always do. It's just one of the things I like to do because if they don't see what they like, I wanna make sure that they have access to get back to it. Stick. Let me open it. I actually put the email there. Submit. So there's that one. And then I'm gonna come back to my page, hit my back button, come back to my search, come back to my next page. And this was a really long one. So then I'm gonna do sleep and healthy uh, important facts. So I'm gonna grab this one, copy, come back to here. And I'm gonna just highlight. I like to do a paragraph or sentence, not paragraph, but statements. Um, it just seems to catch the eye better. And um, So that's for my sleep. And then since I did biohacking, I'm gonna come back here. Um, I've already did one for new tropics up here, which goes to my biohacking uh, or my new tropics. But if I wanted to add more to it, I can, since I do have another page for biohacking. Um, and then I wanna come back and do another one because it is um, health, uh, my health category. So then I'm gonna come over here and do a search for ED, which is gonna be this one the erectile dysfunction for our Phoenix. So I'm gonna get that one and I'm gonna come in here and my next title is gonna be header and I'm gonna do men's health. But I need to try to type in a moving vehicle. <laughs> All right, and then I said by following this simple click, I just pulled a small blurb in there. I'm gonna come back here, grab my link out of my address bar, copy it, come back to my page and take this out and add it right here. Let me 
button there. And then I'm going to come back and do some highlights. I'm going to make this bold. You, know, you can even come back in if you want it to stand out and add some color to it. Um, it's really up to you. If you want to add color, you just come to the drop down, go to your that one, color text, and then just choose a color. And there you go. Um, I don't want that subscript, so let's take that out. And let's move. Oh, it made it smaller, even smaller. And it's still too small. So if you don't like something or can't fix it, just hit your back button. It'll go back to normal. There you go. And then you start over. Get my color text. Get my purple. And there. So there's your information. Then same thing with here. I still want to make sure that that stands out. I'm going to bold it. And I think I'm going to put this in red. And if you don't like that color red, you can, cust you can click on the custom wheel. Choose your reds down here at the bottom. And there you go. So there's my red. And then you want to update it. Now, if you ever come to your menu category, um, so we're going to come here and look at your menu category. So that's how you're going to update your menu page or your category page. And you need to go in and modify this. There's some people that's asked me to look at their site. They, they're getting turned down from Google. And the first thing I check is their category pages and they're not modified. Um, they haven't changed anything. They haven't added to it. Um, I'm actually going to come in here and add a, a picture for this one. Um, let's see. So I'm just going to come here and do an image. And I'm going to pull one from my media library because I've used one before. And just add this right here. Select. And I want to make this just a tad smaller. Line it to the right. So it comes right there. And then what I want to do is actually get my my link to my Sephora. So I'm going to pull up my Google Doc for. Come on, shoot. Sorry. I don't mean to make you dizzy. I'm going to pull up my Google Doc for my uh, templates. So I'm going to get my ad templates right here. Do I have it in there? I don't think I have that particular one. So I'm going to have to go to Sephora. I'm going to get my link out of there. Oh, hold on. Did I lose you? Do I still have you here? We're still here, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to come to um, my campaigns. And I'm going to go to in progress and I'm just going to go to my Phoenix and open up my campaign. And I'm just going to copy my link. And you can either copy it to your clipboard or just highlight it, copy it. Either way works. And so then I'm going to come here and I want to do this image. So the image right here, I'm going to use my key phrase or my keyword that I've used for uh, my actual page so that it gets indexed. Um, or you could do a I think I'd use this one for my key phrase. And then I'm going to link this image and I want to do the actual link. I want to make sure I open it in a new tab and then submit. So now my image is linked. So I still follow the guidelines for your SEO. So you want to make sure that you still follow your guidelines for your SEO criteria, even though this is a category page, still need to be green and green because it still gets searched in Google. Um, it can come up, even though I have my slug, my SEO titles too short, my descriptions too long, um, my overall is green and green. And that's what you always want to strive for is your overall green and green. Um, and then I'm just going to update it. Now I have several other pictures, uh, pages that I could put in here. 
but I haven't. So this is one of those things that you can um, just continue to on go um, and add more pages to. And all you need is just, like I said, a little paragraph describing or talking about what your page entitles or entails and just go in, you know, and write it. And then you want to do that internal link. Your picture to actually get the criteria met for your external links, you just do your picture to your external link. But you only need one. So if you have one external link and one internal link, then you're fine. You met the criteria for your SEO. So then we're going to come back to our site. And once we get there, I want to uh, let's look at here at your uh, content or your category page menu. So some of you have everything and every page that you've ever written here. You need to be to be at less than 90. If the minimum maximum is 90. I always say, like Paul said, have about 85, 84. That way, if all this new stuff that we have coming out. If you wanted to put it in its own category, um, you would have the space to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to go in and remove it. Um, if there's something in there that you, you're not using or you don't want it to be you know, in your face or you don't want it to be drawn attention to immediately, um, I'm gonna show you how to take those out so that you do have some space. So we're gonna go um, back to our pages and you're just gonna go, to appearance and you're just going to go to your menus and once you get to your menus it's going to pull up your category or your menu structure and it's going to have all of your information there now once you remove it it doesn't remove it from your site it's still there you remember all your category menus are are just pages that you are highlighting in your system so your arts and category is still a page um, in your system, you're just highlighting it and using it as your broader base or your umbrella is what I like to call it for all of your little markets that you have. So one of the things that you're going to go through is, you know, find the ones. If you have a hundred, you know, if you've downloaded or added every page that you have for your Vela Vita or not your Vela Vita, your Valentis under your health and fitness, and you've got a drop down for each one of them, you don't need them all there. Need to just highlight the the main ones. Um, same thing with your um, if you have a PNG, you don't need to put every page that you have. You just need your basic your gaming, your helium, your your um, your phone, your phone and your TV. So if you've done like twenty pages for phone and ten pages for TV, they don't all need to be on your menu. Um, you only need to highlight them. The good thing about having your system is you can interchange your drop down so if you have something for christmas and you want to highlight that then take your easter and thanksgiving one out and put your christmas so you can rotate keep your menu fresh but you don't want to have everything in your drop down actually you can so i'm just going to come here and show you how you can get rid of one so i'm going to come and take out um this one right here because I only have two. So all you have to do is you do your subcategory first, just hit your drop down. And you come down and you just click one and hit remove. Okay. So now that one's done. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna remove another one that I saw that is I want to move. I want to add something else later. Um, like the free stuff, I would leave that there because we're going to have some more things that you can put there. You can put the full pages to go to the free um, Your free stuff, you can. If you want to put Sephora sign up in your free stuff, you can. You can put Sephora also in travel, but you don't want to have, you can do two maximum is what I always tell my students if they fit in two different categories, but that's as much as you need. But with all the programs that we have, I don't see why you need to duplicate. Just pick, find the best one that works for it and use that. Um, so I'm going to do. Surely you're like breaking up. Right um, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you just breaking up a little bit. Wanted to make you aware. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we. I think we're on the main highway now. So we just came through a little town. So, um, but yeah, when you're, you're doing your. Um, your menu, 
you just want to make sure that you don't add everything that you have there. You can remove stuff, you can interchange them. Um, I don't recommend or I don't tell my students to put more than two of the same thing in there. So if you have um, the free stuff that's there and you want to put your computer and your Sephora there, you can also put your computer in your Bitcoin, you can put a Sephora in your travel. But with all the stuff that we have, I, you know, you don't really need to put duplicates on your menu. So I'm going to come here. Um, I actually did a page on Native Americans about my culture, but I haven't done anything else to it. I haven't added to it. So for right now, I'm just going to remove it off my menu. Um, that will free up some space for some other things that I might want to put up here. Same thing with redecorating. I got a lot of hits off of this page, so I put it there. So I'm just going to take it down. I might come back and put it later. And then once you get finished removing the different things that you need, um, you want to come down and you want to save your menu. Okay, and once it's saved, you're going to see my little wheel spinning there. So once it's saved, it's going to come and jump back up to the top and tell you that your menu saved. It's been updated and it will take effect immediately. So it's going to take mine a while. So there you go. So it tells me my main menu has been updated. So now when I go to my page, so even if I come here and refresh my page, you're going to see all the updated category. So you're going to see that it looks a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit shorter. The ones I took out are no longer there, but it doesn't affect the way my site looks. So um, you see all my Google ads, they're doing really good. Um, perfect. I actually have uh, some coding in here. So that's how you can go and, you know, work your menu, work your category pages, but please make sure you are in there modifying and changing those category pages. And you want those floating pages so you can do that search to find your other pages. Everything should not be in your category page uh, menu or in your drop down. You want to make sure you have those free, free floating pages. Add them to your menu page, but not your menu structure, if that makes sense. And I think that's about all I have, unless y'all got any questions. All right, anybody yes, got any questions? Let's see, Gail looks like Gail has a question. All right, Gail. Uh, yes. Uh, as far as when you remove a, um, when you're organizing your menu and you remove one, mm -hmm. I know it stays on your site, but yep. how do you personally retrieve it? Where does it go without having to remember what it was and search for it? It's in your page. So if Depending on what your category was, you should be able to remember what that page was. All you have to do is when you go to your um, in uh, dashboard. Custom, so, yeah, so when you go to your dashboard, um, I don't want to go there. Hold up. So when you go to your which, uh, menu, it's going to have all your pages. So it's going to have over here where it says pages. It's going to have your most recent ones that you've done, and it's usually within, you know, the first first couple of months or the last couple of months. It'll have all your pages. But if you want to go and do a view all, then it will put all of your pages that you have in your system right here in alphabetical order. Okay, um, so that's so where they you, go if you remove it from your menu. No, they're still in your site. They don't go anywhere. You just right, but I mean that when they're they're off your, of they're off menu. of your of your category menu. That's where they would go if you remove they're still, them. No, they're still in your website. They don't go anywhere. All you're doing here when you create this menu is you're just basically copying your page information there. That's all you're doing, they're moving it. So when you take it off your menu, it doesn't go anywhere. You just take it off that direction. So it's sort of like you took a sign down, but the road's still there. Gotcha. Yeah, so no, it's it still on the anywhere. site. So it's over there on the left hand side if you wanted to put it back in your visible menu. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so all you have to do is just click it. And then when you click this and tell it to add to menu, it's going to put it at the very bottom. Google likes everything in alphabetical order. They like to see organization. Either you can do it reverse alphabetical order or straight standard alphabetical order, as long as it's in some kind of order and not randomized. 
So okay. um, it's going to be at the very bottom and you just have to drop and drag it to where you want it to go. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. All right. Uh, Andrea. Hi, Sheila. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. And thank you for your training. It's awesome listening to you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to know what category on your site do you put your training that you you started on Thursday? Because I've been um, looking at them. Go ahead. It is, uh, if you go into Skype, I have it there. Um, the page is under by PBS. I actually have a page on, on PBS, how to start a website. So it's okay. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, Richard or Jane or whoever. Hi, and Sheila, thank you so much for your knowledge that you share with us. I have a question about the menu um, as we prepare for Google AdSense. Mm -hmm. um, are we supposed to keep the same categories that the original uh, website had before we started modifying? Or will Google AdSense allow us to add other categories and change change the menu? Yes, you can. You can add, you can add to it. Um, the categories that are there have been proven. Roy has proved those categories are the most viable and the most searched types of categories. So I wouldn't alter those too much, but you do want to change the content that is on that page, just like you would any other page. Now you can add other things on there. Like you can see where I have added um, the blue scorpion mm -hmm. um, on there. I've actually added um, online dating sites because that's a really big thing that people's looking for. Um, I've also added, um, changed this a little bit ebooks and crafts um, instead of just having the craft page i've added the nanotechnology and new tropics so you can modify even those um but i wouldn't change them too much and you don't want to add too many things that are on there so um if you don't have anything writing a page say if you're writing a page and it doesn't really fit into a category and you don't have a lot of that same content then I would use that as a floating page. I wouldn't necessarily create a category um, menu just for one page or one topic, okay. unless you have other things that you're adding to it, if that makes okay. sense. Yes, it does. And my final question, how do you alphabetize your uh, menu? Do we manually have to put it in order or is there something that will yep. alphabetize? That you have to manually do it. <laughs> okay. I have to say, yep. Yeah. Because when you go and add a, a category topic or a category uh, menu, it does. When soon as you sit, have it to add that page, and you have to create your page before you can add it to the menu. So you create your page, and if you want to add it to the menu, it brings it all the way to the bottom of your menu structure, and then you drag it, alphabetize it, drop okay. and drag it to where it needs to go out in the order. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, Gloria. Um, okay, um, my first question is, uh, when you say to have 90 categories or less, does that include the subcategories? Yes. Okay, so if you, so that's why you said just to have like a couple in each category because that counts into the 90. Yep, yep. Okay. the 90 counts everything from your homepage, to your main category and your subtopics. So all of this menu structure from beginning can, to end can only have 90 or less. Okay. If you and come in here and you're like, well, I want to add a page and you add it and you hit save menu and it just spins and spins and spins, that means you have more than 90. You, gotta oh, okay. take you have to remove them all together. You can't remove them one at a time. So you have to remove all of them till it saves because it won't save if there's more than 90. Okay, um, and just refresh my memory. How do you, would you, okay, so say you make a page and you wanna put it in a subcategory. Um, how do you 
put it, I, I, I can't remember if you're supposed to actually just um, drag it into the category. Mm -mm. Or... No. Yep, so right here is gonna be your most recent. So if you've created the page already, it's gonna be in your most recent, okay? Mm -hmm. So then um, let's go. So here's one I did on romance, the art of romance. It's a floating page. So then I was like, well, I want to put that in there. Where would I put it? Um, I know what's in there. It has a bunch of stuff. Here's one I did on vitamin D. That would be a great one to put under health and fitness. So I'm just going to click on this and I want to highlight it and add it to the menu. So I'm just going to click add and it's done. So it's like, well, where did it go? It's all the way to the bottom of my menu structure. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna drag it to my health and fitness category. So I gonna literally drag it up there and it's gonna be look like it's off screen and it technically is, but I'm gonna go all the way to my health and fitness. And then it's like, well, what I wanna put it? Well, I want it to be a little bit highlighted. Um, so I want it to be above my germaphobe because it's a fairly new page. So I'm just gonna put it right there and drag it, drop it. And then I'm gonna look to make sure there's nowhere else that I would prefer it to be or even put it under a sub menu. So it looks good there. And then I'm just gonna hit save my menu. Okay. And so once my menu saved, then I can go and look at my site. And then I'm gonna have a new drop down. So when I come here and look under health and fitness, then there's my vitamin D. Okay. So and that's you, can, everything... you can put subcategories under subcategories as well, right? But yep. that also is included in the 90. Yep. That's okay. still part of the 90. Anything that's in this menu structure is part of the 90. Okay. No matter where you place it. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, Glenn. Hi, Sheila. Great teaching skills. You're so awesome. Thank you. Uh, quick question. Um, okay. So, would it? I'm a, I'm assuming that it would be easier to modify subcategories before the actual uh, category itself. That way, you know exactly what you're putting into it. Yeah. You, all you need to do when you ever you're modifying your page is you're going to start with your category. So uh, when you click on your actual category, you're going to go to that page um, you, and then you're going to modify it from there. And then you can come back and modify your content because it's, you know, it's just, it's the way we always teach. You're just going to click on like arts and entertainment. You're going to click on arts and entertainment. You're going to be in your edit mode and then you're going to go in and click on the actual link, go to that link and modify that page then come back and modify your um, your paragraph that's here. Okay. Yep. All right. So, I might have been, know, yeah, I might, I might have been doing it backwards. I've been doing like, um, like the subcategories for arts and entertainment. I would do the, the subcategories and first and not the, the main category. <laughs> Well, see, the, the thing about it is, is if you come to your pages and go to all pages, that's what I was saying. Even though your category menu is there, it's still a page. So even if you come through here, here's all of your pages. They're in alphabetical order, but look at arts and entertainment. Here's my arts and entertainment, and it's a menu item. So even though it's a menu uh, category page, it's still a page. So you can, if you don't remember if you modified it or, or not, just come in alphabetical order under your all pages. Look at your date of when you actually modified it. If you haven't touched it, go back in and touch it. But okay. it's going to show up. It's going to show up here under your all pages, even though it's a menu uh, category or menu topic. It's still a page, and it still needs to be modified. So right. even if you do all the other pages first, mm -hmm. you're still going to come back and do that one. Right. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. All right, Kim. 
Okay, a couple questions. First off, yes, if you could, please, excuse me. Uh, by the way, hi. Hi. <laughs> you, <Hi. also, laughs> you do such awesome trainings. I just love them. Anyway, if you could um, maybe put your webpage on there where to find those sites in the chat because there's some new students on here that, okay. would, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, the VIP sites still have to stay within that 90 pages, correct? All websites. All that's websites. Doesn't yeah, matter if you a, got 157 pages, you still got to stay 90 pages on the menu, right? 90 pages on the menu. Okay. Yeah. All righty. And you've got, you have kind of the same thing set up on your site, if I recall, where you kind of go through the, the steps of, of the process as well, correct? Of the yeah. general start, getting started process. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Because, yeah. I, you. By the way, I've got nothing but compliments on your trainings because I'm a big mouth instructor and I can say what I want to most of the time because I try to say nice things. Um, <laughs> I've had nobody say anything but good <laughs> good things about your trainings and they love your trainings and just I just had to give you kudos. And we all love Paul and Paul does major good trainings too. But I just want you to know because I know this is kind of new for you on Thursday nights here with us, but everybody <laughs> is loving your training. So I just had to thank you. Thank you and kudos and everybody loves thank you. you. Just yeah, we you. can't we can't wait to get all of you over here and train when you get MSIs. It's fun. Well, I'm, I'm trying. It's, it, I'm working on it. It's in my sights. I, I can't wait to hear you. you my gun. I'm put -do, put -do. <laughs> thank you, Kim. And I did put that site, that link in the chat, so y'all can go grab that. That's where I'll put it. Also, it'll be um, on my YouTube channel once it gets done. And then Tanya and Rory's going to go through and pick the ones that they want, and they're going to put it on the Triple R two four seven. They're going to create a training site where they're going to house all of the library. They're actually creating the library. Click on that link in the chat and make sure you bookmark that site so you'll have it. Yeah. All right, Pat, you're up. Hey, Sheila. Hey, dear. Um, two things. On um, how do you get all your extra links open there on the top with which ones when you up here where it says you know dashboard and uh oh those are my bookmarks oh no that, when you open up you say you can open up another page in your website and so you can click back and forth like you did like you got the safari up there and you know how to do oh, yeah. the yeah, I just do a tab. So what I do, a lot of people, what they, when they're opening up another tab, if your tab's highlighted and you go to click on another page, it's going to open it up over that page that you're on. So right. you always want to come to a new one. And then all I do is just click on my dashboard and it opens it up in that new one. And then you can drag it just like you do everything else and put them side by side. And then I got three tabs of my site. They're all independently working, but when I update one, they update all of them. So the tab is at at the top of the website? At the top of your internet. Oh, well, when I click yeah. that, it just, I mean, it goes off. I mean, my, my website will stay on there, but when I click, you know, open a new tab, it just goes. All right, so that'll be in the commands of your computer. So when yeah, you I'm go on to a your Mac, computer, so I know Mac's different. But. Yeah, so I, I'm not familiar with Mac. I'm actually thinking about trying to figure out how to work Mac. But I know on my Dells and HPs, it's a command when you go to uh, your internet protocols that whenever you click a new tab, it actually opens a new page instead of just doing a new tab on there. So you might want to look into your settings under your internet and see when you click a new tab if it actually allows you to engage a new tab. Yeah. See, when I click on new tab, I have to just like reopen my website rather than just adding another tab yeah, to we'll the go, website yeah, that I'll I'm on. That. Yeah. So we'll check on that next time we get together. Okay. Uh, one other question on the menu. Okay. Um, does it tell you anywhere how many how no. many pages you got? So you got to count them. Yeah. You have to okay. count them. Either that or try to add one to it. If it doesn't allow you to add it, just keeps there spinning, then that means you're above the 90. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh.
All right, Helen, you're up. Thank you. Um, Sheila, <clears throat> going back to your menus, if you'd pull them up, the list of menus you had, we were talking about moving things. I know when you add something, it goes down to the bottom and you just drag it and pull it up. If you'll check your, go down to where you have nanotropics and health. Yeah, mine's not in, a, in alphabetical order. Yeah, now, <laughs> if you were to decide to change that, would you have to move each one, both the category page and the sub pages individually? Or when you move the category page, will it move all the sub pages with it? You can actually pick up the whole block. Okay. So if I wanted to, like my nano category, um, I know even it is out of sync. It's not in alphabetical order. Even the eBooks here, it actually should be up here with eBusiness to be above that. So I can click this and it'll move the whole structure. Great. That's what I want so to know. I can move my whole structure up here. Yep. Great. And put it where it needs to go. So yeah. So that's all you need to do. So and I'm then my other here. My other question kind of follows that. You said that we need to keep things alphabetically, but you are putting your subcategories non-alphabetical. Yeah. I'm a teacher. What can I yeah, say? Yeah, it's, it's just your main categories. Just yeah, your, your main, main categories. categories. Perfect. Need to get that yeah, in that's, Google. that's all I have. When I got Google, yeah, my drop downs were not in alphabetical order. Now you can put those in alphabetical order just to keep the uniformity on your menu. But I didn't. But my cat, my main categories were. Okay, I just need to clarify. Thank you very much. Great training. You're very welcome. Thank you. All right, Andy, you're up. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank hey. you for all your help and amazing trainings. I thank have two you. questions here. Okay. Uh, First one, I correct me if I'm mistaken, but uh, remember when it was that Crash 2020 event and you were uh, having those trainings? I remember something that you said that uh, when we edit our pages, it's better to do it uh, in a, a draft mode. Was it something no, like when that? you're editing your uh, uh yeah no you're gonna edit your page your pages are if you're creating a new page it's gonna be in draft um always now with i do when i go and edit a page i always convert it to draft especially if i'm changing the um key phrase or the slug because then it wipes everything out but you don't have to do that. If you're gonna keep your key phrase and you're gonna keep everything there and just modify it, you can modify it straight in um, the text that it's in and not worry about it. But you can draft it to get everything out. So it's just sometimes there's a glitch in a page. So if you go to a page and you modify it and you try to uh, bring it back up and it keeps showing this new picture and you know you change the picture, sometimes when you put it in draft and then come back and publish it again, it will take that out. It's just part of it's a glitch in the code. It's not always, but sometimes if you have that happen, that's what needs to, you need to go in and put it in draft so it can reset itself. It's just a technical thing. So only when you change the slug or some, or the, the yeah. keyword. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to, you know, that's something you want to get with your instructor if you're ever changing the slug. Always do that with your instructor to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Because if you mess with the slug, then you can actually send your page to be a dead link if you don't do it correctly. Okay, thank you. And another question. Very uh, okay. Look, most of the people now, they are on their cell phones. And okay. what I noticed when we have those sub sub categories, actually when people uh, go on the phone and click on a category, it skips the subcategory and goes to the next one. So you kind of not able to go on a, on, a, on a categories that you have in there. It's there, it's just not where you would think it's there. So you actually have the option to see how it's gonna uh, appear on a cell phone, but you, you know, 
it's it's there. It's just not clickable. Depending on how they have their phone, if they turn the phone sideways to where it's uh, got the wide view, then they can see the subcategories. But if they have the narrow view, depending on their phone screen, they won't be able to see the drop downs. But they're there. Oh, and it depends on the phone too. It, yeah, it depends on the phone. If your phone doesn't have the space to hold, pull that up, it won't. So it, it, but, but it's there. If I turn They're it there. sideways, it will it will work, huh? Yeah, it should be there. I mean, I see mine when I pull mine up, but I have a big screen on my phone. Oh, okay. That was it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right, Sharon. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, hi, Tony. I'm very new, really green. Uh, um, I have two questions. When you were putting the, the verbiage link in the new places, mm -hmm. your cursor was going so fast. I didn't see how you did that. Um, and I've got to get some links and some pages. And the other question is, how do you change the date? Okay. Uh, Did I lose her? Or did she lose me? Uh, she muted herself, I think. Okay. So uh, when you get your links, the links are coming straight from your page on um, so your instructor. When you get with her, she'll show you how to get your links and where you get them from. Um, mm -hmm. I got my links straight from my page, from my site, um, and then from my affiliate program. So depending on what your affiliates are, your instructor will be able to show you where to get those links and how to put them in there. And then as far as changing your date, when you go to your edit page, and this is one step that a lot of people forget to do. And Google frowns on it when they come in and you're applying for Google AdSense and you just got your website six months ago and they see pages or dates on your page that's four years old. And it, it kind of raises a red flag with them. So I always teach my students that when you come into a site, you want to come right here to the publish date and you want to change it the minute you start working on it. Okay, you don't want to wait around um, and because sometimes you'll forget because I've had students say, well, I wait till I get finished and then I'll go change my date. You need to change that date from the time you start modifying it. And all you need to do is you need to come here, you're going to hit, you can change the date. So what I want to do is like, I see this is an older date. So I want to go back and you're like, well, how can I do that? You go to your revisions board on your revisions. You have these tabs up here and it tells me when was the last time I was in this page or the very first time I was in this page, which was four years ago. Okay. So four years ago, which was March the 20th, this is one of the first pages I did. So that was what, 2018, four years ago. 2017. So that's all I needed to know. I just need to come here and look at this two years ago, 26. So then I'm just going to go back to, go to editor. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click this date and I'm going to put the 20th. And I'm going to put March. And I'm going to put 2017. And I'm going to put PM and it changed it right there. And then I'm going to update. So now my date reflects the very first time I touched it or pretty much after um, or when I went in and modified. So now my date's changed and updated. After you change it from the first time, you don't never go back and change it again. Because then again, it looks like your page is younger or older than it necessarily is. So when you change that date the first time, that's it. You don't have to change it as long as you have your site. All right, Tony, you're up. Hi there. I just wanted a quick little question. Okay. When you were looking for your um, how to do a, a page, I noticed you had training and I saw you go to your search and you put in PBS. Yeah. Is, is that how your students get to your training? 
that my trainings are on like YouTube, but I have do have PBS pages in my system. I have um, how to create websites because everybody's looking to do stuff at home. So I have several pages on how to do websites. And um, I have all of Rory's links in there. I have my Go links. I have everything in there, just right. like on the right. page. But so, do yeah. you have them um, um, blocked so that only people that are your no. students? No. No? Because they have, they have affiliates in there. So no, I, I don't have any of my pages blocked. Okay, but you don't have it as a category. You just have it as no. a search. Yeah. yeah. But all of my site, but my pages are not uh, geared just to our training. They're actually geared because I'm an affiliate with WordPress. So they're geared to WordPress. They're geared to how to create your websites. And then I was like, if you read my pages, I tell them, hey, if you want to learn what I'm doing, let me know and or go here and sign up and let me know you signed up you know and then that way i can find them when they get on trello um or matt gets them i can figure out where they are and i have my response magic link in there and i even say hey sign up here let me know you're interested i give you a call so you know it's just another marketing tool okay thank you you're very welcome all right tim you're up nobody else raise your hand we're gonna Try to cover these that have their hands raised. Okay, Hi, Sheila. Um, I just had a really quick question. Um, you had said that uh, you're only allowed to have ninety uh, pages from your your menu categories, and that that included the main categories and subcategories. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. 90 on your menu, not on your site. You can have as many on your site as you want, but for the menu, you can only have 90. So that's why you want okay. your menu categories to be your most sought after categories, but you can have as many as you want. I got almost over 300 pages on my site, but there's yeah, no way was... I'm going to have 300 <laughs> menu items. Yeah, that was going to be my next <laughs> question is where, what do you do with all the other pages? Yeah. <laughs> they're called yeah, floaters. They're there. Yeah, that, okay. they're there. That's why you want that's why you want that search tab there. That search tab that they can search your site just like they search Google by your key okay. phrases, by what they're looking for. You only want your menu and your and your sub menu categories to be your main focus things that you want people to have immediate access to. And then on your category page is where you put your little, you know, three or four sentence uh, description. It's going to send them to your internal link to your next pages that you want highlighted. But you don't need to put everything on your menu. That if, Number one, it'll be too busy. And number two, then nobody will know how to search and get traffic to your site. Everything will be right there. You want them to search your site to get that activity. Okay. Now, I noticed that um, on your menu, you've got a lot of pages that I don't. Uh, one, probably because I'm really new at this myself. So, um can you add uh, uh, other affiliate programs to your website? Oh yeah, your instructor will be able to walk you through that because we have several and like with Sephora right now, there's like three different ones in there. And one of them has four or five different products that you can use. Um, same thing with our PNG. Um, a, a lot of our products or our affiliates have more than one product and you can write pages for each one and most of us do. Um, okay. So that's how you get the different pages. One word of okay. caution, though, I wouldn't add many pages until after you get Google AdSense approved. I understand. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. If you, yeah, if you have less than 100 pages in your site, I wouldn't even attempt to try Google AdSense. You need at least, a, that's what I tell my students. If you don't have at least 100, don't attempt to apply for Google AdSense. They want to see content. All right, Larry, you're up. It's next. Who is next, Andy? Larry. Uh, okay, you know, I, I just had to uh, unmute myself on, on the bottom. <laughs> now, I've been uh, testing your website on a cell phone, and uh, 
It's it's working okay. I, mean, I don't see any problem. Only only weird thing is uh, I couldn't get it to work on Chrome. I I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't find my, my my website on Chrome, so uh, uh, that was kind of weird. But uh, I'll have to work on that. But uh, it is the uh, WordPress uh, template. Uh, uh, is it set up for mobile operation? Because I, I have yes. done WordPress before. Uh, it, it, I didn't see any problem with it. Yeah, really, to be honest with you. Uh, but, yeah, you uh, can, there's actually, you can see a desktop, a tablet, and a mobile setting for our WordPress program. It, it okay. functions on all three. All right, so it, it seemed to work good. Uh, just, I, I must have mistyped something in, uh, in Chrome. It's kind of yeah. funny, it works on Edge, but you think that's probably the worst one. Uh, but uh, yeah, if it it did, yeah, if it didn't come up in Chrome, because Chrome works better for, than Edge for our program and a lot of our affiliate programs. So yeah, double check how you typed it, and, you know, just copy and paste it or move it over, but it should come up and make sure that you type it in correct. Yeah, I think I, 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 I just I found it. Uh, that found conversation on, does affect what you're finding out. Yeah, I think I just found it on Chrome. I found something. But anyway, just wanted to tell you, you it is working. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, perfect. Thank you, Good job. Thank you. Milio. Milio, you're up. Okay, now there we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. We can. How you doing? I'm good. doing good. I'm uh, not so good, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we got some things we got to fix. <laughs> I have a question. Okay, so so let me get this straight. So what, whatever you do on the home page, and you you do it to all the other pages. No, home page is uh, totally separate. Well, I'm, what I mean, what I mean is, um, each category title on the menu that's is that that's like the main one for whatever is next to it or sub uh sub yeah category. your menu is going to show up on your home page and your consecutive pages your menu is going to be throughout your whole site so on the home page you're going to have advertised or more or less show um other things that are on the other pages uh, and uh, also the, the floaters? No, so this is my home page. Your home page is going to be just that. It's an introduction to your site, and it's going to have two other offers on it. But here's your whole menu, just like it would be on any other page. So they can still search your whole site, either even from your home page. They still have your search bar on your home page. Right. So, for example, if I go to... Uh beauty and cosmetics or blue scorpion um it's still the uh, same what uh whatever is going to be in the sub sub uh category i would advertise there on that on that uh on that uh, category yeah it'll be the same throughout so even if i come here these are the same if i go inside my site Mm -hmm. and come to Blue Scorpion, it's still the same. They don't change no matter what page you're on. They're the same. No, but you talk about uh, checking the link and then going over there to that page and modifying that too. Yeah, home page is the same thing. The home page is going to be on your post. So when you go to your um, edit, yeah, let me come here, um, and you're going to go to your dashboard, this was a lot of people don't know it's under your post. So you're going to go to your all post and that'll show you all the pages on your home page. You need to have at least two to three on your home page if you're applying for Google AdSense. A lot of people only have one. You need two to three on your home page to uh, appease Google. So two this is three. where you go and, and modify those pages. Two to three subcategories or what? No, two to three pages on your i'll get with you on that this oh. is yeah yeah i'll get with you on that Maybe. but yeah on your home on your home page you need three two to three pages oh on your home page maybe i'm already and doing they, it and they are called post your home page is called post 
Your consecutive pages are called pages. So they're two different things. Oh, I didn't know. So you have, yep, you have post, which is everything on your homepage. And then you have pages, which is everything that's consecutive. Okay. All right. All right, we're a little bit past time. We got three more people and then we're gonna to have to call it a night so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> we got two more people. Uh, Stanley right. raised his hand after I said, don't nobody else raise your hand. <laughs> uh, Gloria, you're up. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, first, I'm gonna go right with what he was saying. Um, you said um, there's two to three posts, I know, but did you say you had to have subcategories on those? No. Parts? Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, All right. No. I, that's what I mean. Okay. No, and no. I'm so glad you said about changing the dates because I immediately heard Nell's voice saying, Gloria, you got to change those. And I never have done it. She's going <laughs> to kill me. I just was like, oh my gosh, I got so many pages to go back and change all those dates. Um, yeah, but yeah. Um, my question was when you were saying about the affiliates, is that only the affiliates within our program or can it be any affiliate program? If you concentrate first on our affiliates and once you get your site up and running and you get Google AdSense, then you can, you know, it's your website. I'm you can it. market anything you want to. Okay. And just to let people know about the phone, um, I have an Android and it's Chrome and I just put my 1u95.com and if you're holding your phone upright in the top right corner, there's, it says menu, three lines, yep. click on it, then it shows all the categories. You can click on each category, it shows you your subcategory too. Yep. And if you turn it to the side, it looks exactly like your website on your computer. Yep. So if anybody's having trouble, just check the top right corner and the menu's right it's there. there. Yep. Yeah, it's right and there. And that's right it. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. All right, Maggie. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, something probably simple. I'm kind of new and I, of course, my, my whole setup was done under my legal name, but down at the bottom, I would like to put my nickname because that's everything I'm putting on all of my lead texts and everything. How did you change the author name to Mama Chief? from your Sheila? <laughs> um, I have to get with Roy to see if I can tell how to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I noticed when mine came through, it came with my legal name and I knew yeah. my legal name, but I know I have to have it out there to be able to get paid or anything else. So yeah, I just I'll have to ask Roy if I can show that because it, it's a little technical. So let me get okay, permission well, from him. I haven't been able to find it yet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. That's our questions. And we are way out of time. It's 10 08. Thank you, Sheila, yep. for a great recording. You're very welcome. Uh, and I you. have, I think I got one more week, and then we'll see who is it one more week or two? Can't remember. Uh, so, two more, but yeah, thanks. I'll be here for a little bit more. So um, yeah, if there's something y'all want me to cover, uh, please, by all means, get with your instructor or MSI so they can let me know. And that's what we'll go over next week. Very good. Thanks, everybody. I'm going right. to stop the recording. All right.